Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. I got a strange story here. Wait till you hear this. Uh, but first, WWE Women's Champion Ivory, and I can't believe this, turns 50 today. While Hall of Famer Blackjack Mulligan turns 69 years old and Tough Enough winner Maven. Remember, remember him? He was there in WWE for two or three seconds. He turns 35 years old and NWA Tag Team Champion Brian Lee turns 45 years old. Does anybody remember? Raise your hand. What other name Brian Lee went by for a while? Huh? Anyway, it's not confirmed yet about this story, but... <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Hall of Famer Dusty Rhodes will be appearing in a new independent Christmas horror movie called Hell Eves uh, in this, this this January. But anyway, it says here's the little synopsis of it. Uh, the uh, campy Christmas horror movie called Hell's Eves. Anyway, it's a, a movie that follows a small group of rogue vel elves who. <laughs> Who in turn, uh, who turns on uh, Santa? Anyway, they kill everyone and put their body parts in jars and give them out to kids for presents. And anyway, Dusty uh, briefly appears as a grandfather to one of the children, running out of the shower nude and confronting the elves as they're, as they're coming down his chimney. Isn't the horror movie of body parts in jars enough? Now we got Dust Dusty running around nude. Anyway, the scene was filmed earlier this month. Hell's Eves hits iTunes, Netflix, January 17th. Be sure and mark that down. 2012. And uh, is scheduled to be released on DVD sometime in 2000, early 2012. I don't know. If there's anything I never wanted to see is not only body parts, but parts of Dusty's body. Hmm. All uh, right, it was signed, uh, WWE has signed Lingerie Football League star uh, Danielle Manette to a developmental deal. She uh, debuted as the manager uh, for ECW personality Abraham Washington, which I forgot he was even, I guess he's still down in FCW. But anyway, she ended up being a manager for a while. Uh, Manette uh, expressed interest uh, during media, media interviews earlier this year in becoming a WWE diva and has tweeted about being a fan. Besides playing in the, the lingerie league, uh, she also has a degree in marketing. So that's what she's doing now. She's marketing herself. WWE did get, give tryouts to European female wrestlers, uh, Rochelle Walker uh, or Rochelle St. Clair, she goes by, and Jazzy, the alpha female, uh, while they were in England earlier this month. If any of you guys over in uh, Europe knows any of those uh, not divas yet, but the women wrestlers, uh, let me know how they are. Or send a picture. WWE has also uh, gave a tryout to 24-year-old wrestler Erin uh, Angel, uh, Angel. She made her debut at the age of 15. Her trainers have included Jake the Stink Roberts and TNA uh, star Doug Williams. Despite being uh, hospitalized after this weekend's um, uh, falling off of the rope apron down onto the floor in the uh, CMLL promotion. Uh, TNA star Sarita won the uh, annual bodybuilding competition this weekend. Sarita now has won the competitions six years in a row. Ratings for Thursday's Thanksgiving episode of uh, TNA going to be delayed for a day because of the holiday. And below, uh, there's a uh, video of TNA knockout of Christy Hemming discussing her early days in wrestling and Trish Stratus. The uh, clip comes uh, out of Hemming's new Bloodstained Memoirs on DVD. Haven't seen that on sale yet, but uh, might be worth a look. WWE, uh, I'm not sure whether that's TNA uh, DVD or not. WWE trending worldwide on Twitter during SmackDown last night were Randy Orton, Ziggler, Heel, uh, uh, Mahal, Hunico, and a bunch of others. I think you can say bucket of shit on there and it'll be trending. Getting tired of that anyway. Uh, Kelly Kelly and Daniel Bryan will be meeting fans at the Kmart on Sinclair Lane, Baltimore, Maryland, December 18th, 12 o'clock. Signing is going to be the first 300 people and wristband policies in effect. 
I just want to let you guys know in Baltimore. Heath Slater, who recently made his return from suspension, wrote the following last night. He said, I'm back, looking good. It's his opinion. And uh, Trending Worldwide said, thanks, uh, Slater. Uh, keep up the good work. Um, that was what most of Twitter's followers said. And uh, WWE su uh, superstar Kazarni, remember him for about two or three minutes. He was listed on WWE's website this week as the seven turkeys in the ring. Zarni was uh, had responded in a video and shares his discussion that he had with John Laronitis and more. You can look it up on YouTube. Regarding uh, Brian's steel cage match against Mark Henry coming up this Tuesday live SmackDown special, the winner of that match will defend the World Heavyweight title against Big Show at WWE's TLC pay-per-view. Uh, of course, it's going to be, like I said, tables match most likely because I think they get that big ass up on a ladder, I don't think. Also trending, uh, or also coming out of SmackDown, WWE has a new backstage interview up with Booker T discussing an Intercontinental Champion, Cody Rhodes. Booker insists that he does not want to return to the ring to face Cody because his wrestling days are over. Booker says he has put that, uh, that life behind him and is now focusing on a new generation of stars. Uh, this is all part of the, part of the storyline as Booker is scheduled to return to the ring soon. Oh, I just don't want to go. I don't want to go, but I'll be there. Anyway, coming out of last night's SmackDown, Daniel Bryan is new, number one contender for the World Heavyweight title. He's going to be facing Mark Henry this coming uh, Tuesday Live SmackDown edition uh, steel cage match. Remember, Tuesday Live, WWE split up awesome truth. Should they? Well, that was a poll that was taken. Thumbs down came in at 62%. That's 560 votes. And thumbs up, 38%. 350 votes, all together it was 910 votes, but uh, most people give it the thumbs down. And regarding Maurice, her departure from WWE last month, the Wrestling Observer reports uh, that the company's official has been looking to cut ties with her French-Canadian glamour model uh, for over a year since she did not fit her commitment to wholesome, family-friendly PG content. Her uh, history of non-PG activities was a concern to, to WWE executives, the Observer notes, which I've seen a few of it. It wasn't on WWE, so anyway, <clears throat> just remember some of your non-PG activities, uh, Mr. Uh, McMahon. Once it's there, can't get rid of it. All right, uh, Maurice uh, would not intentionally uh, endeavor due her, to her uh, relationship with the Miz. WWE parted ways with uh, Maurice shortly after she asked to be released from her contract. Friends of Maurice say lost a lot of interest in performing with WWE over the past year, which was uh, uh, ready to move on to the next chapter of her life, and uh, she plans on returning to the glamour modeling and has her sights set on posing for Playboy again, which <laughs> hit it. WWE's decision to release uh, Maurice also was fueled with expectations uh, like uh, <clears throat> Gail Kim. She was not across, uh, she will not cross over to TNA. But she did confirm last week during a red carpet interview that she has absolutely no interest in joining America's number two promotion, let alone continuing in wrestling. She says, I'm done with wrestling. Uh, she told Pop Candies TV, whatever that is, says no TNA, no TNA, no TNA. Except TNA and Playboy. Hey, the Knockouts uh, Vice President Ke uh, Ke Karen Jarrett is livid over the Knockouts disobeying her orders uh, to show more skin on last uh, Thursday episode of Impact Wrestling and is now uh, <clears throat> planning some major punishment for the ladies on next week's show. She stopped by Impact uh, Wrestling Post Show to address her plans for next week's show and how she uh, is going to be taking matters into her own hands, which I would love to take the knockouts into my own hands too and punish them. It's just terrible. She vents to Jeremy Boras. She said, these stupid little bitches think uh, they're going to continue to mess with me. I'm telling you, uh, they won't cover up and I'll tell them when to take it off and when to put more on and what they are normally wear. So anyway, she says, well, you know what? I said, I messed the, they messed with the wrong ladies, so now all hell's gonna break loose. Of course, that's the TNA's 
pretty much the highest rating is when they're uh, in the ring. So if they want to play games, games freaking on, ditches. Kurt Angle stated on Twitter that he will be participating in the U.S. Olympics wrestling trials and it will be held over, over in Iowa City, I guess Iowa, this April to determine uh, the team that will go to London, England on the uh, 2012 Olympics. It says, I'm already qualified for the final uh, Olympic trials in June, but will uh, officially enter you know, the, trial, uh, the Olympics trial qualifier tournament in April in Iowa. I'm ready. Uh, I didn't know you had to go through trials, but I guess you would have to, I would guess. Angle uh, reveals that the Olympics uh, this past June, or he's hoping for this past June, or he announced it past June, and he told the son, I've got my eyes set on it, uh, blah, 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 and um, can't put it out of my mind. Anyway, Sting is on the cover of the latest issue of Inside Wrestling. Gail Kim responded to criticism that she repeats uh, herself in interviews regarding her views on the WWE. Nothing more to say. I said, I'm not going to answer questions the uh, people ask me, she says. Why don't you ask them uh, you know, why the question has been answered? I, I'm just reading what's on here, man. It's not too much excitement. Hey, uh, before I get uh, run out of time, I hope you guys ain't clicked off yet. But anyway, title changes went on in 1960 for you uh, classic uh, wrestling fans. The Fabulous Kangaroos, remember who they were? Al Costello and Roy Hefferman. And they defeated Johnny Valentine and Buddy Rogers in the NWA Northwest uh, Northeast Tag Team Title Championship. In 1975, Cowboy Bill Watts defeated Carl Cox to win the TSW North American uh, title. 1992, the fabulous Freebirds. Terry Gordy, Michael P.S. Hayes defeated uh, King Kong Bundy and Bill Irwin to win the WCCW American Tag Team titles. 1990, Danny Davis defeated Ken Wayne to retain the USWA Junior Heavyweight title. 1994. Diesel defeated Bob Backlund to win his first WWF title. The match was the shortest in WWF history, lasting around eight seconds. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta find my remote. I gotta go.